Hello. Hello. Yeah. One of these little vlog things. I've uh, just finished the workout. Alright, I've just come back. Um, started off with some deadlifts, um, and some, some lap pull downs and things like that. Wide grip. Uh, and some narrow grip rows. Some cable extensions. Uh, some dumbbells. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, Viking presses. Uh, trying to build up those shoulders. And, uh, and yeah, start the back, move to shoulders. <coughs> but uh, my, my strength has been really bad uh, today. I'm on some really strong antibiotics at the minute. It really fucking saps your strength. It's horrible fucking stuff. Poison. But it's got to be done. Um, yeah, I just wanted to talk about in this one. Um, well, first of all, I wanted to say actually, it's a really good product that I found. Um, I got sent it. Um, a friend of a friend runs a company that makes sort of pre workout coffee. I think it's getting quite a popular thing now. A lot of people are getting into that. And uh, this guy sent me some. Uh, and uh, he says, lives local. It's really fucking strong stuff. It makes you tingle and everything. Uh, it's got creatine. And I can't remember the other thing. Oh, glutamine or something like that. Um, but it's super strong coffee. And it's called Max Swallow House. I'll put a link when I post this on Facebook. Um, yeah, and if you go over to the website, we set something up where um, if you put in Wolf 15, you get, I think, a 15% discount as well. And I think he's just about to start doing protein, uh, clothing. Uh, awesome guy, really nice dude. Um, and he's a bodybuilder as well. So he knows what the fuck he's talking about. Uh, awesome fucking stuff. Super fucking strong. Um, with me, I'll sort of mix it up with some Kenko or something like that. The usual coffee I use, and I put some honey in it, and it just sort of mellows it out of touch because it is fucking strong. Uh, but yeah, big recommendation get over and get some. Uh, I think he's bringing it, he said he's bringing out protein next week or something. So get yourself involved. Really cool company, really cool guy. Uh, that's Max Swole House Coffee. Um, yeah, that sort of helped out with the workout today. Was, if it hadn't been for that shit, fucking hell. I've just gone in and tried to pull five plates on a deadlift. Well, pull, I pulled it, but fucking nearly blacked out. I've still got a little bit of an injury in my hips. And uh, yeah, like I say, these antibiotics just, just, just zap you, take it all out of you. Um, this weekend, we had uh, the lads from Wollowasa came up and we were chilling, um, riding motorcycles, shit like that. And uh, we went out, I think it was on Saturday night. There was something I wanted to, to talk about was, um, we were out drinking, we sat at a table, a few of us, some friends, and someone decided to come over and get involved in the conversation. Now, so one of the people who were there, the next day told me I overreacted. So I did get caught fucking nasty and tell this person to fuck off. Um, but at the end of the day, you shouldn't be afraid of conflict. You shouldn't be afraid to tell people where to go, when to fucking go. Um, it's your fucking life, your circle. Um, the only people you owe anything to are the people that you're sworn to, your family, your inner circle, your tribe. Anyone outside of that circle can fuck off. Uh, I've got no fucking time. I don't owe anyone anything. I don't owe you fucking politeness. If I'm polite, I choose to be. Don't fucking think you have to go through like being fucking polite and, and subjugating yourself for other people for their fucking sake. If they're not part of your circle, you don't know them. Fuck all. Up the fucking road with them. Um, don't be afraid of fucking conflict. Don't be afraid to assert yourself uh, in any situation, any time. Uh, don't fucking cower down to this world because it will fucking walk all over you. Anyway, that's me out. Be relentless.